you thought the Brooke Hout situation was bad? Just wait until you hear about this. It's a mess, so let's get into it. So today we're talking about a YouTube couple that we've never spoken about before, Nikki and Dan Felipe. Nikki has a channel with over a million subscribers and she does lifestyle family type of content and her husband Dan does whatever this is. Anyways, this YouTube couple uploaded a video a few days ago titled, We Have Some Really Sad News. Their sad news was that they had to put down their beautiful bull terrier dog named Bowser. They didn't put this dog down because of old age or illness. They put the dog down because he showed signs of aggression and they weren't willing to work to correct those signs. This was a happy, healthy dog that had many years left and they just decided the best option was to put him down. Not rehome him, not get professional training, just his life. The video they posted is extremely uncomfortable to watch because Nikki shifts between laughing and being awkward to pretending to be sad. Had the best day together, so. <sighs> yeah. yeah, so for some reason, Nikki and Dan thought posting this video would somehow garner them sympathy from their audience, but in reality, the reaction to their sad news is the complete opposite. They had Bowser for the last nine years, and they described him as an angel that sometimes liked to get a little rowdy. Apparently, when Bowser was a puppy, he got attacked by another dog, and ever since then, he's shown signs of aggression. They even went as far as to claim that Bowser is a dangerous animal outside of the walls of their house. They have another dog named Zoe, and she's a little Yorkshire Terrier, and according to them, Bowser has injured her a few times and even caused her to get stitches. Nikki and Dan say things got bad once their two-year-old son started to crawl. The kid would constantly grab him, take his food, pull on him, scream at him, and be in his face constantly. They said since Bowser was getting older, he kind of wanted his own space and to be left alone, but their kid was constantly invading it. He would come over to the dog while he was sleeping and pull on him, and Bowser would growl and get up and move, only for the kid to follow him again and do the exact same thing. Apparently, one time things were so bad, the kid grabbed Bowser's ear and wouldn't let go and seriously injured him. Bowser ended up with cauliflower ear and it didn't go away for a full month. Even though the kid seriously hurt him, he never retaliated, yet somehow he's deemed as an aggressive dog. He, uh, he, he grabbed onto Bowser's ear and Bowser didn't do anything, you know, he's, he's that calm, gentle giant that lives in my house, but... You know, Logan got him so good that um, if you know what uh, an MMA fighter looks like or a wrestler, they have that cauliflower ear, just balloons up. That's what happened to Bowser's ear. Now, their last straw with Bowser actually wasn't Bowser's fault at all. Bowser was eating his dinner out of his food bowl, and their kid crawled over to him and started to steal his food out of his bowl. Like I said, Bowser liked his own space, and he just had enough and bit him. They said it wasn't really like an attack, and it only left a little mark on his face, but that was enough to put the dog down. Nikki goes on to say that they first thought about rehoming the dog, but it didn't seem like the right option. Apparently, they contacted the Humane Society, and a woman told them that rehoming isn't a good option because he's already lived with them for so long, and it would be too hard on him. Somehow, I think putting a dog down is more hard on him than rehoming him to a loving family. Anyways, they made a decision to get an anesthesiologist over to their house, and it was some Australian guy who apparently claimed this breed is vicious, and they used them in Australia to hunt hogs. No idea what that matters in regards to this situation, but they ended up going through with it and had him put down in their house. Not before taking a photo shoot for Instagram though. The dog that they deemed so dangerous and unpredictable that they had to put him down, they stuck their child beside for a pre photo shoot. Browser literally looks so happy in these photos and little does he know these people are throwing him away because they didn't want to rehome him. Nikki's husband Dan even said rehoming isn't an option because no one in the world besides him knows how to take care of him and because he has a yard. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people have yards or at least access to a park. 
There's literally so much wrong with this entire situation. They said this all started when he got attacked as a puppy. It's their responsibility as dog owners to take their dog to training and work with a professional to heal that trauma that he probably had. They claim that there was multiple instances that made them think about putting him down before. Why didn't you bring him to a professional right then and there to correct the behavior? If you felt like it was something that you couldn't handle, why didn't you rehome him years ago? Then, on top of it, bringing a baby into the house is a huge change for a dog already. The attention that Bowser was once getting was probably cut in half, and on top of that, having the kid bothering him non-stop. It was their job as not only a parent, but a dog owner, to set that boundary between their kid and their dog. Why was this toddler even allowed to steal the dog's food or yank his ear off? Where were the parents? Time and time again, this dog has been set up to fail. Now, remember a few minutes ago when I said that they claim that their Yorkie had to get stitches after an attack from Bowser? Well, this video started circulating on Twitter and it shows Dan holding this small Yorkie who's growling and clearly uncomfortable and then shoving him into Bowser's face, clearly trying to provoke something. Yet Bowser is unfazed, but he's aggressive, right? Why would you even do that with an aggressive dog? Something isn't adding up. Right now, there's over 21,000 comments under their photo shoot with Bowser, and it's safe to say the response isn't good. Surely, with over 400,000 followers, could you not have shared the story prior to putting him down? And guaranteed, a network of people would have rallied together to save him. So very tragic. I'm sorry, but what the f You love your dog so much, but you at the first sign of a problem? With your following, you could have very easily have found somebody willing to train him and rehome him. Shame on you. Just a quick moody photo shoot of me and my dog before I euthanize him. Even influencers are speaking out against Nikki and her husband Dan. Both Jeffrey Sarr and Jacqueline Hill have spoken out about the couple's decision, writing, They claim the dog bit their child once so they had to put him down. Instead of rehoming him, they f***ed him. And there's also no proof the dog was actually aggressive. This makes me so sick. It's hard to fathom how someone could their own family dog and make content out of it. They need to be investigated. As a dog owner whose animals are my life, this is hard to wrap my head around. Jeffrey also retweeted Nikki's tweet that said, God's plan is always better than mine. And he said, you your dog, shut up. Even Jacqueline Hill spoke out and she said, I have a very temperamental dog. He bites people when he feels nervous, unsafe, or if you try and touch him when he doesn't want to be. I know these things because I'm his owner. Therefore, I make sure he's not in situations where he will react. I don't kill him. You guys know I pretty much never insert myself in drama, especially on a special day like today, launch day, but I'm just too disgusted, especially by the goodbye photo shoot. Like what? Like how in the hell did they think that would get a positive response? This whole situation is just so upsetting to me. They called this dog their kid. They had him for nearly an entire decade, and then they just discarded him after doing a photo shoot. With millions of followers across all their platforms, they had the resources to find him a new home. These people are rich influencers and could have bought him the best of the best to help heal him. These humans failed this dog so many times throughout his life, and ultimately, he had to pay the price for their mistakes. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button because it really does help my channel and I'll see you next time.